Good morning, friends. It is August 18th, and we are just leaving our uh, third Thursday church service at, at an apartment building. And we had a pretty good little turnout today. I tried to show you a little bit of it, which I will insert after I greet you this morning. I forgot to do that before we got there. So, anyways, we just, uh, we sing songs and our pastor comes, which I did show you a little clip of him. And, uh, and we just have a really nice time. And, uh, there's Don. Hello. He, he leads the singing, which today was extra pretty. And now we are going home to put his guitar and stuff away. And then we're going to get on the highway and go about 45 minutes north to our son's house. And Don's going to help him uh, work on a fence and the corners for uh, pouring concrete. So then we have to hurry back down to our church where... Uh, deliver food for third Thursday so that's pretty much gonna be our day and I will come back with you along the way Recording this stuff. I just made this, even though it's about 10:40, because we're going up north for a number of hours. So this has a protein shake, almond milk, blueberries, a romaine leaf, and some yellow squash in it. And now I'm cutting up a salad. Let's see if I can do it this way. So I'm cutting up. Some romaine put in a container here because they're having BLTs, which is fine. But if I'm going to stay on my program, I need to take my own. So if I'd show you, I'm cutting my lettuce up, putting it in this bowl. And one of the things I will show later on is how I make one of these bowls, which has got wet ingredient in it, because I can keep a bowl of salad in my in a large container. This has peas, green onions, tomatoes, two calamari olives, and some celery. So I'm just going to put that on top. Normally I would keep it separate, but since I am uh, just going to be eating before too long. And then these are the uh, little cherry tomatoes. I guess that's what they're called. So I'm going to put those in there. 
and I love tomatoes in a salad because it makes it nice and moist. And I'm also a green onion person, so I'm going to put a really good green onion in there. And then what I usually do, Don's already in the car, so boy, I don't have much time here. Uh, to make this bigger than I normally do. Can you see it? There. So, I really love, most people know about this uh, everything bagel seasoning. I'll put that a little on top. It's got all kinds of seeds and peppers and things in it. And then, I have bought and made every kind of dressing there is. I'm going to it right down to it. I like this olive oil mayo. It's 50 calories a tablespoon. So I just take a, that's maybe a tablespoon. Uh, that's too much. So I'll put two tablespoons on there. And by the time you mix it around and some of the tomato juice comes out, it's very nice. All right. Put the lid on it. And I am now ready to go to my son's house. See you a little. Well, I'm at my son and daughter-in-law's house. We have four babies, and this is Ivy. You gonna say hi, Ivy? She's got the prettiest eyes. Yeah. And then we have another cat and two dogs, and she's making BLTs. She's got the lettuce in the refrigerator, but I brought my salad. And this is where the bacon is. Cooking. You got an air fryer. I'm sorry. I didn't have that on. And this is my drink I'm drinking. As you can tell, I haven't drank too much yet. Bud. Uh, I might, yeah. I was going to show the animals on my little video. Do you want to be on my video? Huh? Uh, it sounds like I'm already on it. No, I can take you off. I can blur your face out. I only did you right there, which I didn't know I did. You get me eating chips. Yeah, and get you eating chips there. So now you're picking it? I don't have your head. I can blur your head out if you like. Cattle cooked. Cattle cooked. All right, I'm going. I can show me. So do you want me? Out? You want me to blur your head out? I don't care. Though. Big step there. This is his projects he's working on mightily because he's got a time limit before September 1st and he's going to get it all done. Right, bud? Yes. And let me show you the project. They had just a double window you know, two windows side by side in their bedroom, and they tore it out, and they put uh, a slider, very nice slider in, and they've also just recently put in um, uh, electric fence for the dogs, and as you can see, there's a dog next door, and then they have a Great Dane, There's their Great Dane and their little dog. So, there's the neighborhood. Ella loves Grandma. Hi, Paris. Paris, come here. Yeah, she's such a good girl. She's only five months old. 
So she's going to be a lot bigger. I see you. Hi. And here's Don and Dan working on this project. That's the slider. They had somebody professional that does doors. Would you like your chair down there to sit on? No, I'm going to go back in. I just thought I'd record what was going on. He took the topsoil up. I see you. <laughs> I see your baby. Say <laughs> so you're just a big old. But when mom calls. The ones that say super value on them. Oh. Here's the little one. All right. See you in a little bit. Sitting down to have lunch. Yep. They're having the bacon. Hi. Do you want to be on YouTube or just your sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> and this is Ryan's pastor. What's your name again? I forgot. Zach. Zach. Yep. Pastor Zach. Oh my goodness. Well, hey, he said he didn't care. Me All right, I'm sitting at Ryan's house and they're out there working in the yard and it is so hot out there. My feet were actually getting burned, and my face, I think, is still red from it. Yeah, I can't sit out in the sun like that. Plus, I think we were confusing the whole issue. Uh, I'll let him and his wife figure it out. Pastor Zach is out there with Don. And uh, I'll show you a little mouse. My daughter-in-law's into horses. And that's the office. And that's the dining room. That right there in 1975 was my golf clubs. So now they're vintage. So he's got them for a decoration. I don't know much else to say. Um, I think Pastor Zach's going to be here for about another 20 minutes, and then we're going to leave in about 40 minutes. And then go do the food delivery, which is, you know, about 45 minutes from here. So I'll have to leave in time for that. And thank you uh, for your comments. I got a few comments yesterday. I felt like I was on the right track again. So hopefully uh, one of my next things I want to do is show you how I make my yellow squash soup. Which I know you can't taste it, but trust me, everybody that has tasted it just absolutely loves it and wants a second bowl of it. <laughs> so you can't get a bigger compliment than that. All right, there is, let's see. I've got a skylight on me there and one up there. And that's all that lights this room up. Isn't that nice? Yeah. These, uh, this dog cover, cover for the couch. And this humongous pillow is for their Great Dane. Yeah. All right, well... I'll come back when I think of something else to say. Well, we just got back to our church where we um, delivered some food. And now we're going to be going home. How do you like my hubby's car window? Life is good. Our daughter, oldest daughter put that on there. Uh, at his retirement he had work the last night that he had to work she came and she decorated his car and Ooh, did we get something what did we get we got plums and we got the popcorn factory caramel corn yep. wow. left over 
Okay. So. Well, anyways, we will be home shortly, and then uh, I guess I'll show you what we'll have for dinner. Well, I just got off the phone with my daughter after getting home, and two of her boys are entering seventh grade. And they're getting ready to go to uh, open house for their new school. And I just thought I'd show you. Don's out here. He does not let, pardon the pun, grass grow under him. There's our shed. And my battery's getting low, so I won't keep out. Keep out here very long, but if nobody has seen grass being mowed for a while, there you go. He's got the bags on the back, which is really nice for uh, catching the grass. And then he just puts it around the trees or around wherever he doesn't want grass to grow up. So, all right, I've got to go figure out what I'm having for dinner. Hello, friends. I did it again. I just made probably five to seven minutes of a video and I didn't have it turned on. I was showing you our last corn on the cob and it looked like it was fairly big. This is what I had to break off the top and this is the whole corn on the cob. So, and it's very, it's not big around, so... Anyways, looks like my husband is talking to my son again because we got home and the first thing my husband did was jump on the mower as I showed you. And I'm absolutely wore out, but I've got to make dinner, so I didn't even do anything and I'm wore out. I am a perpetual, exhaust, not exhausted, uh, person in pain. And I have been like this for years. This is not something new. So it's almost like not worth ever mentioning, but it does affect my entire daily life. And the doctor knows about it. There's not much I'm willing to really do. It's more... Uh, what do they call that? Fibromyalgia? Yeah. So I'm not willing to take some of the medications. So I take a Advil and try to live with it. Right. Boy, I thought my husband, when he picked up the package, I thought they were all froze together. Now this is these that are separate are from an old package. Yeah. And these are from a new one. I'll show you what they look like. Let me let it cook up a little bit more. So I'd show you a picture of my mom. She died in 2010. Wow. There. That's my mom. That's Don. When he was younger, of course. I've shown these before. That's Don and I. When we were first married, or, well, yeah, first year of marriage. Uh, and there we are again. But anyways, this is the dumplings, and you can get them at Costco. But this whole bo uh, thing is frozen together. Ling Ling pot stickers is what they're called. Oh, hold on. I can't close this without two hands. Oh, anyways. There we go. So, I do have... Put it back on me. I do have a little bit of uh, jambalaya rice left over. And I really usually just like kind of one thing, so I'm not going to make them. I may eat this corn on the cob. 
but I'm not going to make anything else. Here is my, a few of the tomatoes, and there's two zucchini, and here's two more. And if I get a chance tomorrow morning, I'll try to show you the soup. Apparently we're going back to Kings Island tomorrow afternoon after my husband plays his normal 18 holes of golf. I wish I had his energy, but I don't for several reasons. One of them is the fibromyalgia. We have a couple other reasons, but my uh, um, uh, introvertism really gets in the way too. Well, anyways, this is the rice, and oh, that's the jambalaya rice. And I was going to show you how I do the. Uh, well, anyways, it come. You can either use soy sauce, or it does come with these packs. These packs have some sugar in it, not a whole lot, but enough that sometimes I just use soy sauce. Is the light, and then these are red pepper flakes, and I add them to a bowl. Let me get a bowl here. So I have these. I'll make two of these. But anyways, I just add a whole lot, about that much red pepper flakes, and then I, if I had, uh, and then I add the soy sauce, and if I had some. Um, sesame oil I would add that all right this video has gotten way too long so I will see you tomorrow God bless you